the new Weaselwood project. In today's episode, we are going to make a few changes to our horses here. Uh, usually I like them because it's a nice, welded and solid uh, metal construction. Um, but the one thing that disappoints me a lot is the bearing surface here. Um, it's too small and also it has these round edges here which makes it almost impossible to, to clamp something on. And these protection clips here that comes, came with this are pretty useless at all because they fall off pretty easy and they are too small at all. So I came up with an idea to build a a support around this beam here out of MDF which is closed underneath so I have a nice rectangular shape to to clamp something on and also I want to build a or, the, or some interchangeable top plates for different purposes and uh, make it so hopefully better. So let's get started and see what we come up with. For this project I don't need that much of material, so I can use some of my skirt wood. So I cut the pieces I need first to width and then to their appropriate length. For the small parts I use my angled fence adapter. One of these days I will build a proper one. But for now, the square plywood will do the job. Then I put the pieces for the U-shaped base together. I use some PUR glue and for the rigidity some nails from the air nailer. And because it won't hurt, some clamps for the skill points. While the glue dries, I cut the pieces for the deck plates. Again, some square pieces. For one kind of deck plate, I need some triangular shaped stripes, so I set my saw blade to 45 degrees and give it a go. Meanwhile the glue had time to dry and I removed the clamps. A test fit on the horse and it looks good so far. Next we can prepare our cover plates for underneath. So I put them on the base and center them. Then I drill the holes for the screws. Always pre-drill screws in MDF, otherwise bad things will happen. I lost my countersink somewhere, so I use a bigger drill to sink the screw holes. What should I say? It works. And always mark the pieces to know where they belong.
Then I repeat those steps for the smaller cover parts on the outside. And another thing, just because we can, I set up my router table with a 45 degree chamfer cutter to the birdie edges. Then I removed the dried excess glue with a chisel and drilled two holes for domino dowels in each base as indicating pins for the top plates. And of course the matching holes in the top plates. Even I recognize on the second one that it have to be mirrored. As long as it works, no worries. Then I glue the triangular strips on their base plate. They should be at least nearly in the middle of the base plate, but the measurement is not critical at all. So I eyeball the middle and clamp it on. I use a piece of old carpet as surface for one kind of top plates, so I cut the stripes out of it and then cut it to length. A very nice cut. The carpet fit the plate perfect. Now to the sticky job. I put some glue on the plate and on the carpet and spread it with a piece of scrap wood. Then put the carpet on the plate Align it with the outer edges and give it a slight hint of pressure. Now I glue the domino dowels into the base. To mount the bases onto the horses, I have to drill some holes into the beam of the horses. First I drill a 5mm hole all through the whole beam and then I drill the lower tube wall 
up to 12 mm. That the screw head will fit through the lower wall and just clamps into the upper wall. Then I put the base on and screw it to the horse. The final step is to screw the lower covers to the base. We already prepared the holes so that isn't a problem at all. Now you can see the nice straight clamping area. Beautiful. Well guys, that was a quick and easy one. We finished our adapters for our horses here. We now have a nice rectangular and big one uh, clamping surface on each of these horses. We, we still can, can fold them together to save some space. And of course, we have our different top plates, top adapters for the different purposes. The one with the carpet for the sensitive surfaces of the parts. Put this on and you, have don't, wor uh, you don't have to worry about the surface or scratches or something. Then our standard one with the uh, out of hand uh, MDF for, for cutting with the guiding rail and the handsaw. If this one is worn out, throw it away. Cut another one, stick it on, perfect. And this one with the with the pointed uh, piece on it for the uh, for paint jobs. Put a piece of uh, masking tape on, and if you're finished, throw it away. It's perfect. So I hope you like this. Give it a thumbs up if you do like it, leave me some comments, how do you think about it, and have a nice day, bye!